So let's go back to the common law era and talk about party to a crime. The history is quite interesting. Basically, it comes down to this. Uh, at this time in history, there were many crimes that were designated as felonies. And a felony meant that the penalty for committing the crime was death. It was pretty much black and white. And uh, so many people were getting the death penalty. Some judges of the era didn't like giving the death penalty to all of these people. And so they started coming up with ways around it. And what they devised is that if you were a party to a crime, you couldn't be prosecuted until after the principal was convicted. So think about that. If the principal, uh, if it takes him a long time to get convicted, you're not going to be prosecuted until after all of that is done. Uh, what if the principal is never convicted? Then you're not going to be convicted and no one is put to death, right? Um, what if the principal dies or flees or... Uh, or appeals his or her case. So the uh, that's basically the history of how they used these designations. Uh, basically the way they break down I think is pretty simple. Principles in the first degree are people who actually committed the crime. So let's call let's say uh, bank robbery. That would be the person who goes in, takes the money. Okay? Principles in the second degree are present. They're either physically or constructively present, and constructively really means present too. Physically present means they go in, go, let's go back to the bank robbery, they go in with the person who's committing the robbery, and maybe they stand guard over the people who are in the bank so that they can't attack the person who's getting the money. But they don't physically take any money themselves, right? That's physically present. Constructively present is they're outside the door uh, watching for the police to see if anyone's coming or something like that. So they're not in the bank, but they're at hand. Okay? Those are principles in the second degree. Accessories before the fact typically were not present for, well, they were not present for the crime, and typically they helped to plan or prepare the, the uh, for the crime. And then accessories after the fact also were not present, but they typically helped the uh, perpetrators, the principals, to escape or hide. 